Good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. My topic is all about the role of technology in delivering the curriculum. Introduction. The role of technology in the curriculum springs from the very vision of the e-Philippine plan or electronic Philippine plan. After learning fundamental concepts about the curriculum, its nature and development, comes the practical pace of curriculum implementation. According to International Workshop on Emerging Technologies, an electronically enabled society where all citizens live in an environment that provides quality education, efficient government services, greater sources of livelihood, and ultimately a better way of life through enhanced access to appropriate technologies. This points to the need for an e-curriculum or a curriculum which delivers learning consonant with the information technology and communications technology or ICT revolution. This framework presupposes that curriculum delivery adapts ICT as important tool in education while users implement teaching learning strategies that conform to the digital environment. Those among educational goals desired for achievement is the honing of competencies and skills of a new breed of students, now better referred to as a generation competent in literacy, to the three R's, or reading, writing, and arithmetic, but influences more particularly problem-solving fluency, information access and retrieval of texts, images, sound, video fluency, social networking fluency, medica fluence, and digital creativity fluency. Here is the content focus of the topic. Instructional media may also be referred to as media technology or learning technology or simply technology. Technology plays a crucial role in, de in delivering instruction to learners. Technology offers various tools of learning and this range from non-projected and projected media from which the teacher can choose depending on what he sees fit with the intended instructional setting. For example, will a chalkboard presentation be sufficient in illustrating a mathematical procedure? Will a video clip be needed for motivating learners? In the process, what ensues is objective matching where the teacher decides on what media or technology to use to help achieve the set learning objectives. So, here are the types of instructional media or technology in which teacher can use depending on what fits with intended instructional setting. In non-projected media, we have here real objects, models, field trips, kits, printed materials such as books and worksheets, visuals such as drawings, photographs, graphs, charts, posters, visual boards such as chalkboard, whiteboard, flannel board, or etc. and audio materials. While in projected media, we have overhead transparencies, opaque projection, slides, film strips, films, video, VCD, DVD, computer, multimedia presentation. In deciding on which of these non-projected and projected media we are going to use, we have factors to base our selection. Number one, practicality. Is the equipment or already prepared lesson material available? If not, what would be the cost in acquiring the equipment or producing the lesson in audio or visual form? Number two, appropriateness in relation to the learners. Is the medium suitable to the learner's ability to comprehend? 
Will the medium be a source of plain amusement or entertainment but not learning? And number three is the activity suitability. Will the chosen media fit the set instructional event resulting in either information, motivation, or psychomotor display? Number four, objective matching. Overall, does the media help in achieving the learning objectives? According to David Warlick, we need technology in every classroom and in every student and teacher's hand because it is the pen and paper of our time and it is the lens through which we experience much of our world. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions?